Because Rick Hill doesn't work on an empty stomach, mm -hmm. he has demanded really? that we take some of this fresh Gulf sheep's head, which has a sweet taste because it's been eaten. Uh, mollusks, uh, soft crabs, hard crabs, right. anything you can get his little teeth around. I He's can't eaten. wait to try it. I haven't had it in years. Your grandfather used yeah, to love to catch these off the pier. That's all he caught. But around these rigs where well, the water's fairly deep and they're covered right. with barnacles. And you can actually see them swimming and popping around mm -hmm. in there, popping those with their teeth trying to get them loose. But they have very sweet flesh. Now again, they're kind of hard to clean. They get those big old armor-like scales on them. But we had berry. Berry but we had Captain Berry. Yeah. And we're just going to take this. A little salt and pepper on our flyer, a little salt and pepper on our fish. That's some nice white fish. I don't, aren't they beautiful? Yeah. Now we cut most of that red meat out, but that's where your strong taste comes from on any fish. You want to get that red meat out. Now you talk about fresh fish. You just cleaned those yesterday. We just pulled these out of the water <laughs> and came back. And uh, we came back to a sunny day. Yeah, we did. But guess what? It's going to get cold again. That's we're saying snow. Good. That's not good. So very simply, we're going to take these, we're going to put them in our hot grease right over the fire. Two to three minutes per side. These, some of these are fairly thick. The, the little ones, the thin ones, won't go that long. And people say, well, how do I get my fire hot enough? Well, it's just like inside. You just watch it. Get your distance right from the fire to your skillet. That smells <laughs> it's nothing good. nothing like cooking outside. Yeah. When they get nice, and we can tell that they're about done, they're nice and flaky, we're going to set them aside. Then we're gonna take our rosemary, fresh rosemary that we just pulled out of the atrium, some garlic, and some red wine vinegar. We're gonna pour that in there, let that simmer down a little bit. Perfect temperature. Pour that back over the fish and serve yeah. it. Yeah, sounds good now, to me. Now we did this recipe a long time ago, but this is, you can do this outside too. All right, Rick, you do the honors. You're first. All right. That should Thank be you sufficiently very much. cooled. Excellent. Does that give you the strength that you, you need to, to move on to the mm -hmm. next tree ID? We can move on to the See next what we group. Gotta do. Oh, that's good fish. See what we got to do to keep people on board? Now, well, that's in, great. in a little while, after we get back, now we'll eat some of this, but we're going to intentionally leave some of this. A lot of people say, what do you do with leftover fish? Nobody wants to eat leftover fish. Right. You can put this in the refrigerator. We're going to share a little trick. You don't want to waste something like this. So say you have a bunch of people over and you cook a bunch of this stuff up. Got extra. And you got a little bit extra. We're going to show you a quick middle of the day snack that's good for you. Mm -hmm. That's really good for you. Can't beat that. That's good white fish, isn't it?